Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. Typically my readings are love readings. We're just going to see whatever comes up with you. I'm going to start with this deck for you. This is my second go round. I did do a reading for you. I did the whole thing, but I can't I can't really share it because I think it's I think it's too personal. So, I just want to I'm going to do it again and we're going to start with one of these. Um Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, just keep in mind that if the reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always always love is kind always sometimes being kind isn't isn't easy Sometimes, you know, it's not easy to, to do the right thing. There you are. There you are, Pisces. Right in your own element. Looking good. Feeling good. Uh, thinking about offering your heart to someone or you are offering love to somebody. This is about taking action to bring success to your life. Finding your power, Pisces. Congratulations. This is really good. This is manifesting what you want by taking action. That's what this is. This is someone who is quite aware of who they are, what they want, where they're going. You are. You're right where you need to be, apparently. Not living in denial. I'm not going to live in denial. I'm not going to pretend I've made a decision that I'm going to unblock. I'm going to unblock this my heart. I'm going to let my guard down. I've made the decision. You see the truth. Lies have been exposed in some way. You may still have some overwhelming fears, though. Ooh, yikes. Okay, so this right here is extremes back and forth. This is extremes. So you may, this is escape it. This is escape it till you make it card. So you may at times, right now you might be in your element, but in a couple hours you might go right back down. This is roller coaster. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so I feel as though, you know, at one minute there's peace and harmony, and the next minute it's not. And this is indecision as well, even though this is, a, I think, a decision may have been made, and that's what it is. It's back and forth. One minute, you know what you want, you're going to go for it. I think you do know what you want. But stepping outside of your comfort zone is the ticket. Uh-oh. So there's an opportunity for love here. There's an opportunity for love with somebody that is pretty pretty good. I mean, this person is very beautiful. Could be a Libra. Could be a Taurus. Okay, right here, Taurus. We have Gemini. We have Aries. We have Gemini again. We have, uh, that's you up there, so I'm not even going to, I know that is your energy. We have Sagittarius. But it feels as though there's a, there's a death of an idea. There's a dead end. There's an ending here. There is some sort of ending here. There is. This could be the ending of a time apart. Okay? This could be the end. This is, a, this is the, the death of an idea. The death of an old way. You guys are about to start a, a wonderful new chapter. 
a wonderful new chapter that brings you unexpected love. That's what this is. So, there's unhappiness though here. There's unhappiness in regards to some sort of connection. Now, here we have Aries. This could be a husband, could be a father, could be a partner. This is, this is a completion, the end of a phase, the end of disorder, the end of chaos, the end of instability. That's what this is. So if you guys have been struggling, and I think things are about to get better. I do. I think that things are about to get better for you. I feel like you've been involved in some unhappy situation in regards to a relationship, in regards to a connection. You've been involved in, you know, some unhappy turmoil that this is the turmoil, unhappy turmoil that has caused the imbalance in your life. And it, but it feels like you're taking action in some way. Now she's the she's the goddess of love. She is the goddess of love. She's the Earth Mother. Okay. And perhaps there's a, a new decision because this is a card of decisions, and this is too. That this is love. Or there's a new opportunity for love. Something you've manifested. Something you've been waiting for. Your challenge is commitment. Are you ready to commit? Do you want a commitment? You know, it takes equal. It takes equal give and take. I think you know who this person is. I think your intuition has been telling you what to do. I think this person has crossed your path for a reason. I feel like you absolutely do know who this person is. You know exactly who this person is. And you do. You do. There's a lot of clarity here. You see you you know who this person is. Okay? So don't try to change it up and say, "Oh no, no, no. You do know who this person is." There's like a oneness between the two of you. What the hell is this? So there is some sort of communication that is probably going to happen. Whether it's telepathic communication or actual verbal communication. There's communication going on with you and another person. Then there's a love connection, a soulmate connection here. But this is a completion of a cycle. A completion of a cycle of instability and insecurity and chaos for you. That shit's going away. The decision has been made that I, I know what I need to do. Somebody has made the decision about their future. That's what this looks like to me. But they're stubborn. Somebody has held on to some stance, stubborn, um, holding a grudge for quite some time. Somebody has held a grudge for quite some time and not put in any effort. Therefore, something is dying. It's going away. What the hell is this? Yep, yep. Some sort of relationship is, is dying. And I think it's dying because somebody has made themselves emotionally unavailable for too long. They've held on to some stance, some grudge, some obsession, some way. So something is dying, but something new is beginning. Okay? So that's good. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's all right. You need to open up your heart. You do. You need to open up your heart. You need to take the next step.
you've been hanging around being stubborn for no reason. It hasn't really, I mean, yeah, you may have gained some enlightenment during this period. Uh, yeah, you probably did. This silence has served you. But now it's time to let that go. It's time to release it. It's time to let go of that anxiety, that resentment, that worry. There's been a lot of power struggles. There's been a lot of tension. And it appears that your challenge is, is to stop playing, to stop playing the game. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of... Fertility. There is. But you have to be, you have to be logical. You have to make the decision. You have to make the decision. You have to stop going back and forth, back, back and forth, back and forth. Back. This is tug of war. Back and forth, back and forth. You need to stop. You need to be decisive. You need to make that solid, firm decision and stick with it. What's it going to be? There's been an emotional loss. There's been a loss. There's been some sort of hurt. Some real, real serious hurt. But there's still a, an opportunity for love. There is still an opportunity for love. You may feel guilty, but there's still an opportunity for a reconciliation, for happiness. This is a reconciliation card. There's an opportunity for happiness. But somebody has to be honest. And now that's, I moved it. I didn't know where I was going to put the card. I just did. It's connected to you. Are you being dishonest with yourself? Are you? And I don't care. Don't, you don't need to answer in the comments. You ask yourself that question. Some, and it's you. It's connected to you. Is being dishonest with themselves. They're lying to themselves. I don't want to be held accountable. I can't be held accountable. I'm not going to be held accountable. The justice card reversed. Somebody that does not want to be held accountable for their actions. There could have been a third party situation where somebody was treated unfairly. This is unfair treatment. But you're being called to take action, to have no fear, move forward, communicate. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Seriously, speak your mind. Tell the truth. Say it. Whatever you got to say, say it. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody that has been bringing you down. Somebody that has no energy, somebody that has no passion, somebody that has no drive and ambition, somebody that is conceited, somebody that has been draining you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that maybe you need to move away from this person, maybe you need to get out of there. You definitely need to do the right thing for you. I think somebody is being cut out of your life. This is cutting somebody out. Speaking your truth. Looking at things from a new perspective. Being assertive. It's time for you to be, insert, be assertive, Pisces. Be assertive. Do what's right for you during this time. Follow your heart. Stop being wishy-washy. Make a logical decision at this time. Be logical. Be decisive. Make a firm, solid decision and stick with it. This is determination. It's perseverance. It's You have a lot of doubt in your head. You have a lot of doubt and fear. And I feel like you're growing weary. You're growing um, like you're about to give up on a situation, but you really can't give up. 
but it is time to move on. Somebody is moving on, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody is moving on to a much, much, much better place where there will be victory and success. Where you will be able to get your life back on track. Your life is about to get back on track. Your life is changing for the better, Pisces. A difficult period that you have been through is ending. That's what's going on here. The hermit reversed. It's like you're stepping out of this period of isolation. This time alone, this time of being in hermit mode, this time of becoming aware is over. It's like you know what you want now. You do know what you want. I know that you do. You're seeing things clearly. You know what you want. Now it's time to take action. Now it's time to go get it. Go get it, Pisces. Whatever it is you want, go get it. Because victory and success is yours. You're moving to a much better place. A phase in your life is over. A difficult phase. Whatever, th whatever you needed to evolve from, whatever need you needed to shed, whatever old ways, the magician sheds his old ways. He becomes a different person. That's what the magician is. So I feel like something has been shed. You're not the same person. You're moving to a much better spot. You've had this time to, to go within to figure it out. And I think that time is over. I think that you're moving to a spot where things are going to be a lot more harmonious, a lot more peaceful. Um, and it's because you're putting in effort. I think that you're going to put in effort to give a little more. That Six of Pentacles that was under here. I think it was in this one it might have been in the other one but i saw it that's about equal give and take it's like i think you're going to put in more effort to make a situation balanced you know what i mean things have been unbalanced and i think you've been playing tug of war probably it could be with another person or it could be with you within your own mind but i feel like you're you're about to make a solid stable decision that is going to bring you happiness okay that's what it looks like to me could be with somebody, a reconciliation. Could be with somebody that you have dated before, or it could be with somebody new. But I do see that there is love here for you with that lover's card. There is. There's an ending. There's a there's an ending that is going to bring you a new beginning, and it's going to take you strength and confidence and courage to get through it. Whatever this ending is, there's a rebirth here. There's a there's a time of. Uh, you know, with endings bring new beginnings. I think that there was a lack of appreciation. There was a lack of togetherness. There was a lack of, of being able to appreciate another person. But I feel like now there is something that is ending or has ended that makes somebody realize because with that, this right here, somebody realizes somebody's worth, you know, after a loss of some sort with the five of cups and this, there's some sort of loss here. And I think that it hurts. Whatever ends hurts. And it's going to take strength for you to get through it. It's going to take... Sorry. I had to, There was a mosquito on my arm. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, um, I got him. Anyhow, um, this is, there's conflicts. Whatever's happening, whatever is ending or has ended has been... Has caused a lot of... Um, struggle it's been a big struggle and i think that whoever this person is that you are thinking about you know that you've made a decision that you want to head towards you know who this person is i absolutely believe that you do you've been watching them you've they are they've been watching you whatever it is it's like there's been a lot of observation it's like you didn't you knew this was coming your intuition knew that this was going to happen whatever it is it just it, we, we were waiting for the right time or you were waiting for the right time and the time is now Something is ending that is going to bring you a more beautiful, successful uh, beginning. Something that leads to uh, success, you know. And I see mutual respect between two people. So I, I feel like there's going to be, you know, there's going to be something that is, is cut away, but it's going to give you something better. Ooh. So here we have the devil card. This is a... Uh, the ties that bind you know there's a soul there's a connection here that is you're bound to and you know I feel like oh god 
there is a connection that you are bound to. It's a it's a karmic connection. You know, it, it's a it's, it's a. I'm trying to watch what I say. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. You know what it is. You know what it is. But you've been pessimistic and you've been a naysayer and you've been in denial, and you know whatever, whatever. So. There is an opportunity for love here with somebody that you have known before. Opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for happiness um, with with somebody that you are tied to, that you are bound to. Okay, it's it's a it's a soul tie. It is a soul tie, and I feel as though, you know, maybe that's ending. Maybe this karmic connect, connection is ending so that you can have wish fulfillment. You know. You could be dealing, if what's happening here, what it looks like to me, what it looks like to me is that one person is leaving so that you can reconnect with another. So I feel like that you, what I feel like is there's been a, a fire sign that you have been connected with and this fire sign is leaving. That's what it looks like to me. I think this fire sign is being cut out of your life. Could be an air sign. Could be, could go either way with what I'm about to say. And I feel like there's a reconnection perhaps with, I don't know. I don't know, could be a Libra or a Taurus, okay, because that's right in the middle, it's the middle, in the middle of the reading, you know, I think there's a reconnection with this person, Libra or a Taurus, that is your, that you're, that is, that you're meant to be with, but I think there's been a, some air sign or an earth sign or a fire sign that has been in the middle, and I think this person is getting cut out. That's what it looks like to me. I think this person is getting cut out, which will allow you to reconnect with your, who knows, who knows, your soulmate, whoever that is. Anyhow, there is an ending here. There is a death. There is a uh, ending that brings a new beginning. So yeah, somebody is leaving that you are with now. That's what it looks like. And there's no, there's somebody that you are leaving, leaving that you are with now, that you have been dealing with now. So that you can reconnect with somebody else. Yeah, you're moving on from somebody. Somebody is, is moving on towards victory and success elsewhere. It's divinely guided. It is. Divinely, divinely, divinely. It's divinely guided. It's, it's major. So anyway, I feel as though somebody is going to be traveling towards their soulmate. This is traveling. An ending allows somebody to travel towards their wish fulfillment. So that's what I see. I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning here, Pisces. With somebody that you know, that you are soulfully connected to. I don't know who this is. Could be a fire sign. Could be any sign. But it's probably a Libra or a Taurus. Could be a Virgo, could be a Capricorn, could be Leo, could be Aries, could be anybody, okay? Could be Gemini, you know, they're all here. Could be Cancer, could be Scorpio, could be Pisces, could be anybody. There's a connection that is undeniable, that has been denied, and there's an opportunity for a reconnection after somebody has figured out that the grass wasn't greener on the other side, the two of wands reversed underneath that says the grass wasn't greener on the other side and i didn't mention it but i'm saying it now so i feel like you know somebody has come to the realization the grass wasn't greener and you know whatever um i don't know who this reading is for ah release your ex the time has come to clear your energy release your ex do it pisces release your ex you have an opportunity for new love here a reconciliation with somebody you've known before. This could be somebody from a past life. Could be somebody from your childhood. Who knows? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I think this is a recent ex. Could be an old ex. Whoever you're holding on to needs to be released. We're going to get you one more. It fell out and flipped over. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. What steps are you guided to take at this time? When I'm talking to you right now, what do you hear? Where should you go? What should you do? 
head in that direction, whichever it is. That's all you need to do, but stop being in denial, Pisces. Stop. You've lied to yourself long enough. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. I just happened to flip it over. I can't deny it. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Who is this person that you have known before? Who is it? You know who it is. Don't lie to yourself about it. You will not heal. You will not heal if you do not acknowledge this. You have to acknowledge it. You can't ignore the truth. It does. You can't. So you know who this is. You do. You already know this person. There's love. There's love. You already know this person. Whether it's a new person that has just entered your life, you have met this person. You have met this person physically. You know right now who I'm talking about. So, endings bring new beginnings. Good luck.